your witnesses, so your state and dentist or sedationist, sign the witness assessment forms for each case that you do. So just log in with your login details to your PebblePad, so pebblepad.co.uk, or just search PebblePad on Google and sign in um, through the, the way we showed you previously. And then your witness or your mentor, they won't have their own logins, so they're going to have to log in to your account. They fill out the witness assessment forms, and then they have to put their email address on each witness assessment form, and then they get emailed to confirm that that's them that, that is filling it out. So, um, say you've accessed your uh, record of competence book. So, for this particular person, they go to the resource store. You go to your workbooks and access the dental sedation nursing one. So you're all in your workbooks, you'll only have one because you're only enrolled on dental sedation nursing with the NEBDN. So the candidates will click on that and then this is their online record of competence. So it's the same as the old printed ones. And you've got your introduction, witness status list. So that is just your list of all the witnesses um, that are approved to sign off. Uh, sign off the work, etc., etc. And then tracking documents is a way of tracking uh, how you're getting along, how you're getting through the record of competence. So uh, the main thing the witnesses are going to be doing are signing the witness assessment sheets to say that the candidates or the nurses are doing each case. So say on here for a PCAS, this is the main bulk of the ones they'll be doing. So for IV sedation, there's 20 PCAS treatment forms five recovery forms, and then for inhalation sedation, it's 10 PCASs. So for each one of these that your nurse completes, so say PCAS1, this is intravenous sedation treatment. So they'll complete this where they fill out the case details. And any difficulties incurred, that's what they complete. And then to prove it or to sign off that they've done the case themselves, you need to complete a witness assessment form. You can either complete it on the Pebble Pocket app, for which we showed you how to do that on the previous video, or if you want to do it on the nurse's account themselves, you just go to the burger menu again, and go to the resource store, and then there's lots of things in here, but you can just pick the ones that you want. So really, for all PCASs, so all the intravenous sedation treatments, intravenous sedation recoveries, and inhalation sedation treatment and recovery sheets, you'll just fill out this one form at the top, PCAS witness assessment form. It's not specific to IV or inhalation sedation, so you just complete that one. So you click on that. You give it a title, what you're gonna save it as. So you save it really as the number of the case you're doing or something relevant to that specific case so they can link it up later on. Um, so say this is for PCAS IV treatment one. And you just assess the competency. So just say if you felt they were competent clinically, competent professionalism, competent communication, competent leadership, and then give feedback. So Say, all oh, very good, good understanding, very professional, or whatever feedback you want to give. Then you add a signature. So, if I was a tutor, I'd be putting my name in and then my own email address. Then you confirm the signature by signing in the box. That's it, confirm and log, and that's it done. Now unfortunately, it doesn't just add that directly to the PCAS that the, the candidate's done, so then the candidate will then have to go to their PCAS that they've completed and add that in. So this saves, this is saved to their assets. Which I'll show you in a minute, so close that. So when the, when the candidate, the nurse logs back in, they will go to their workbook, so their online record of competence. And if that was that witness assessment sheet was for PCAS1, they go to the PCAS1 that they've just completed. 
and then they have to add an asset. So please attach the relevant completed PCAS witness assessment form here. So you add an asset. These are all the assets that might have been saved. So the one that was done for that case was PCAS IVT1. You see, if you name it the same as the PCAS you're on, it's easier to match it up. If you hadn't named it that, for example, but you say you remember the patient's um, age or something specific about the case, then you, you just name it that so it's easy to find. So say it might be that um, you had difficulty it was difficult cannulating or um, you know, particularly low blood pressure uh, or even just the date say if you just do one if you just had one sedation that day so say for this one this was the treatment was completed 18th September so the PCAS has been completed that day so the witness assessment form if you want to link it up with that and you don't know what number it is didn't know it's PCAS 1, 2, 3, whatever you just put the date on and when they go to add the asset, it would say the date here because you've named it the date, so they just add that one in. So, so they select it, click done, that's added, and then they save. And that, that adds this proof that the witness has signed off that sheet. It is quite a convoluted um, way of doing it, unfortunately, but that is the, the Pebble Pad system that's been set up for the NEBDM.